What's up? It's your boy Chris Breezy, Mayo Collective. I'm bringing you my top 10 games from E3 2018 game slash announcements. Number 10 is the Xbox port of Nier Automata coming out later this June. Number 9, I'm putting Anthem, the game that can save Bioware. I want it to succeed, I pray that it succeeds, and we'll be looking forward to that launch later in the fall, I believe. Number 8 goes to Beyond Good and Evil 2. Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Hit Record are backing Ubisoft on this game to deliver uh, fan-made art, you know, art, graphics, murals, music, radio content, all this cool stuff. It could be super awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Number seven is the new From Software IP, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I am looking forward to getting a new Dark Souls fix from the original creators of the Dark Souls series and the genre as a whole. Looking forward to that. Number six goes to Elder Scrolls Six, and uh, they announced it. That's it. They announced that it's real and it's happening, so good on them. I'm happy. Number five goes to Cyberpunk 2077. This game looks like fire, and I am so excited. I hope it's worth the wait because it looks amazing. Number four is going to Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh man, it has a release date. It's coming January 29th of next year, 2019. All the hype for my Disney fans and uh, Kingdom Hearts fans out there. Rock on. Number three and two were difficult for me to rank because I love Halo and Destiny both so much, but number three is going to Halo Infinite solely because Destiny 2 Forsaken is actually coming out soon. All my hype for this game though. The engine, the Slipspace engine looks incredible. Now number two of course goes to Destiny 2 Forsaken. I love this series so much and I want it to succeed on a level that it hasn't before. It's it's had a lot of letdowns for a lot of people and I completely understand them, but I think this expansion could do the trick. It looks like Bungie's pulling out all the stops to achieve it. So we'll see if they actually succeed come September. Number one goes to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I am gushing over all the characters from all the past games coming into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on December 7th of 2018. Eight player Smash is coming back. The GameCube adapters will work with it. It's it's going to be fire, kids. And that does it for Chris Breezy's Top 10 of E3 2018. Hey, hey, it's Isaac. I know you haven't heard my voice in a long time, and, well, I don't really make videos, so you might not recognize me at all. I don't really have a Top 10 list for this year's E3 because I didn't really get to watch a lot of it. Yeah, I know. But I do have a top five. And uh, here we go, let's see. Number five on my top five list would be the Microsoft game Cyberpunk 2077. It has a cool and near future aesthetic that I really enjoy, but there's really not much information to go off of. I'd never even heard of the game until the C3, so I don't know. I'm not really sure if this should be on my top 5 list, but here it is. Number 4 on my top 5 list would have to be Fallout 76. You know, because we're all vault dwellers now. I guess unlike most of you, I actually enjoyed Fallout 4. Quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I mean, the story could have been better, but I digress. Anyway, I would like to see something similar to the gameplay of Fallout 4, but with multiplayer. And, you know, a better story. My number 3 pick might sound a bit obscure, and that's probably because it is. I'm talking about Damon X Machina for the Nintendo Switch. Like the other games on my list, this one's got a futuristic vibe to it, but what makes this one special is that it has mechs. Boy do I love me some mechs. I'm really pleased at how this looks and I really want to see what this has to offer. Come on, it's mechs. Number 2 on this list, Halo Infinite. I mean, as a member of the Halo Collective, did you really think I wasn't going to mention it? That said, we really don't know much at all about this game, if we can even be called that. It's really more of a graphics demo than anything. But like, for what it is, the graphics look phenomenal and I can't wait to see what kinds of games can be made using those graphics. Number one on my list has to go to Super Smash Bros Ultimate, as if there was ever any doubt. Super Smash Bros is one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time, and this time around we have everyone. All the fighters from every Smash game in existence has come together for this one game, and that's incredible. Even Snake is back. It was really exhilarating. Hey guys, it's Alaski. For my E3 2018 game picks, my top 10 in no particular order 
would be Anthem, Halo Infinite, Gears 5, Fallout 76, Cyberpunk 2077, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Super Mario Party, and Elder Scrolls 6. Now it's true, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order hasn't gotten any information really, except that it takes place between episode 3 and 4 during Order 66. But that's what excites me about it the most, just takes place during a time where the JR being hunted. As for Super Smash Bros. and Super Mario Party, I don't own a Switch, but I plan on getting one, and I know those games are usually fun. And I'm an Elder Scrolls fan, so buying number 6 will be a no-brainer for me. As well as Fallout 76, I like the Fallout franchise as well. Don't really need to explain a lot about Halo and Gears of War since I love those franchises to death. Cyberpunk 2077 looks really good, and honestly, the concept has me intrigued, which is why it's on my list. And Anthem looks like a better Destiny. I love the first Destiny, I like playing Destiny 2. Anthem looks like it's a polished version of Destiny, which is why I'm excited for it. So those are my top 10 picks after seeing E3 2018. It's your boy, Skinny Penis Tyler here with his top 10 most anticipated for me three of this year. I was going into this conference fully expecting Metroid Prime 4 to take up all 10 of my entries, but then Yoshio Sakurai said, no bitch, and now I don't, I don't get to do that, so I have no reason to live, but here's the list anyway. Number 10, Death Stranding. I am this close to going I sleep on this game. Step it up, Kojima. No game, no hype. Norman Reedus walking around doesn't count. Number 9, Battletoads. I'm more so just curious to see where this goes. Again, no game, no hype, but I want to I wanna, I wanna know more. Number 8, my friend Pedro from Devolver Studios. You can ricochet bullets off of a frying pan you have thrown into the air. That's reason enough for me to be excited. Number 7, Fallout 76. I'm not huge on Fallout. I mean, I like it enough. But, like, this is just, just online and there's no NPCs. I'm kind of digging that, but at the same time, I'm not. I, I'm really curious to see how Bethesda pulls this off. <laughs> Number six, Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah, I know, no game, no hype, but come on. It's been 2011 since the last Elder Scrolls, and for once, they're not porting Skyrim to the fucking Nokia printer or something. Number five, Doom Eternal. Again, no game, no hype, but if it's anything like the last Doom, I'll probably like it. Um, I just want to know more about it. More gameplay, please, maybe next year. Number four, Gears of War Tactics and Gears of War 5. Um, uh, XCOM Gears of War sounds sounds pretty damn cool, actually, and, you know, I like Gears of War enough, so I'm pretty sure I'll like the fifth one. Number three, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Um, it's Dark Souls, but with samurai and a grappling hook. Fuck. That gets me, you know, pretty damn hard thinking about it. Number two, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, I know this was... I, I wasn't all that impressed by Nintendo's conference, but I love me some Smash Bros. And really, really digging the way this game is. It's not a port, and it has all the Smash characters from every game. So um, it's going to be nice to invite the boys over for some Smash and not have to dig out the Wii U anymore. Number one, and this is kind of a given... Halo Infinite, and no, I'm not, and it's not just because, you know, Halo Collective. I'm more so intrigued by the Slipspace engine, and I want to know more about what that can do. I, I'm dying to see gameplay of this. I know no game, no hype. I'm less excited about the game and more excited about the engine and what a game would look like in this engine. So I hope more details about this come out soon, because we don't really have much aside from leaks, apparent leaks and rumors. That's my top 10. Eat a dick.